friends, coming to you today to share with you a little Valentine decor. Now, I would go ahead and tell you what I was making, but at this point in time, I'm not really sure because when I was at the Dollar Tree, I came across this little three-in-one board game. On one side, it's a checkerboard, and on the back side, it's a backgammon, but it's made out of real wood, little thin pieces, and I wanted to just basically show you the package before I rip it open and get to really brainstorming and figure out what I want to do with it. When I saw it at the store, I thought, you know, this just kind of reminds me of Harlequin or something and I thought you know I'm gonna challenge myself to make something Valentine's with it but I wanted to just like I said show you the package it has all these little game pieces a little circles and little squares and the little game board itself is nine by nine so it's not real big but by the time I embellish it and put some things on it it'll look bigger than what it does I'm going to take this package apart. I'm going to take you along the way as I decide what I'm going to create. All right, I'm still brainstorming here, but I got the package laid out so you could see what all came in it. I got 33 of these little inch wooden squares. I don't know why 33, kind of an odd number, and quite a few of these little natural and the black little wooden circles. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to use any of the game pieces, but as far as the game board is concerned, I'm not going to use it like a checkerboard. I'm going to turn it diagonal, which so it'll create the Harlequin diamonds. And I think I want a big heart in the center of this sign. So I took a piece of copy paper, just folded it long ways, and centered it up on the center line of the game board. By centering it up, I just took my pencil and kind of drew as big a heart as I could to fit on the game board. So now, after I cut it out, this is what I was left with. So regardless of the shape of my heart, at least I know that the top and the bottom of my heart will be nice and even when I get ready to position it on top of these diamonds. So now I'm going to just trace this pattern for my big heart. My board, and I went ahead and punched me a little hanger hole at the top using my little crop doll If you don't have one of these in your craft room, it is one of your most valuable tools. So next I'm going to paint everything outside of my penciled heart black and I'm going to paint all my little round checker pieces red. Is It's real common in these Harlequin designs that everywhere there's a little intersection, there's a gold dot. I love the look of that. So I just got a little gold paint here. I'm going to dip the end of my paintbrush in the paint and just dot each little intersection where the squares meet. Heart now, and I love the way that looks. I ended up using just a brand new pencil eraser, dipping it into the paint and dabbing it on my heart because I wanted my dots a little bigger. And so I'm gonna take a little break, let everything dry and where come back now. I went ahead and just tied a little piece of ribbon to the top, a little slip knot and tied a knot at the top. I found my gold Sharpie marker and I wanted to trace my heart so that it would cover up the pencil mark and I went ahead and went over my painted gold dots after I realized it was two different gold so now my golds kind of match a little better and I'm just going to take glue dots about every half an inch and glue these little red circles all the way around the heart. The way it's looking I went through my ribbon stash and I went and found four little skinny pieces of ribbon a black a white a jute twine and a skinny red one and I'm going to show you how to twist up a really quick bow. Have all four strings in my hand and I have about 24 inches. I'm just going to make little loops back and forth just holding in the loops in my hand until I use up all 24 inches. You're trying to just get nice even loops. And to make the tails take your remaining 12 inches put it over the center of the loops just hold the tails together and you're just going to do a quick little over and under knot right in the center and pull and this will give you your little stringy bow. You can pull it to the left and pull it to the right each color till you get the even look you want and then I'll cut away the longer pieces. And I'm going to hot glue it to the bottom of my heart. All right, the last thing I need to do is there's just some little blank areas at the top and both sides. And I'm going to think about uh, doing some kind of little flourish here. I'm not sure. Some little squiggly line or some little teardrop shape or something to fill in that little space. All right, friends. Here is my game board Valentine decor. I'm going to move in a little closer so you can get a better look. But this is another great example of taking something and looking at it in a different way. So I hope it inspires you. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.